what honestly irks me about men who assume things about women. Men who assume women are submissive really, really bother me. The ones who assume women are submissive do, with, like, in bed, for example, is really annoying because it's like, even if you say you're dominant, they'll automatically think you're like, for example, a brat or someone who is submissive still. They still think you're submissive. They'll just think that you're not as submissive as, I guess, submissive gets. I don't really know. But it's almost like, or they'll think that you don't know what you want or something. <laughs> like, you automatically are going to want something. And, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Because I was watching some videos, and some people were, one person was trying to say that women like to be submissive in bed or whatever. And it's like, the things they were talking about, I don't get. Okay, I don't get, like, if you're submissive, don't you have normal reflexes that all the rest of us humans have? Or, I don't know, like, it seems weird to me, honestly. Like, for example, submissive women who, like, are into, or submissive people, for example, who are into, like, different types of action that would be reactive or feel some form of pain, for example. To me, it's odd because it's like, okay, so if someone had like some form of force, some type of energy um, towards you, whether that was grabbing you, picking you up, holding you down, or like grabbing you, like one person was saying grabbing you by the neck or um, strangling you, which would be more extreme or hitting you or something. To me, I never understood. How do you relax if somebody was doing those things to you? In real life, when someone hits someone, when someone grabs someone, when someone does anything to someone, in a forceful way, people tense up. Normal people do, at least. To me, it's weird. How do you not tense up when someone acts towards you in a forceful manner? It doesn't make much sense there to me. And I mean, as a woman, um, it, a major thing for a woman is to not tense up. I know, I guess some women are really loose down there, so I mean, I guess if they tensed up forever, nobody would even notice, maybe, I don't know. But me, and I know a lot of women are tight, you know, if you tense up, it's even, it's way worse than, like, you have to kind of, like, not tense up to, you know, have the act happen, you know. So I never understood that. Like, people will say things like, oh, a man being dominant in bed and stuff. And some of the things they'll say, it depends. Like, if he's just initiating sex, that's different. Um, but if he is being more, like, aggressive in sex, I don't get how that's supposed to be a turn-on. Would it be a turn-on if it weren't sex? Like, to me, that wouldn't be a turn-on. I mean, it would be the same thing in any scenario because I mean like bodies react to other bodies when they are aggressive or whatever you know that would be something that you would have a reactive response to right because think of it this way okay so every energy that you put into something else bounces back at you right so how do you bring on an aggressive energy towards someone and it doesn't come back at the person who is giving off that aggressive energy? That's what I don't get. And that doesn't even mean like, for example, in an aggressive way, but maybe even in a preservative way for that matter. To me, when people talk about you know, different types of aggression during sex, it's weird to me because it's like, 
Well, if that was the case, I don't see how do you have a preservative mindset, which is human nature, and find that appealing or even capable of doing it? How are you capable of relaxing when someone is aggressive towards you? It's only, it's only, it only makes sense in a preservative sense and in a sense of survival to actually um, not relax, obviously, if someone's aggressive. So that's what I just don't get. Like, some of the videos I've watched, I've always been like, I don't understand what you mean. Like, how or why would someone like that one? And why would someone be able to still continue to have sex? Even if they didn't like it, for example. How would you push on through? Like, I've never understood that. And I've had sexual partners who were would try to be dominant with me or try to be aggressive with me. And it would always be problematic for me. Like, it would never end up happening. Like, the sex wouldn't happen. Unless they changed um, the way they went about it, basically. Which, in one case, I mean, I basically tired him the heck out. <laughs> that was, like, one of the first ones. And, yeah, that was different. He, by that time, he wasn't doing anything. <laughs> but in every other case, I mean, like... Like, basically nothing ended up happening at all. Like, in any regard. No type of sex, basically. <laughs> so I just don't get, like, how other people do that. To me, it makes no sense. I would think, as a human being, if someone is aggressive, wouldn't you tense up? If someone is dominant, you would tense up. And I don't mean... In the situations I was in, I never had any aggression where it was physically aggressive like um they did anything like choke me or hit me or do anything like if they did anything like that that would have been over um but more so like for example trying to pick you up or trying to move you this way or trying to pick you like maneuver you in a certain way or things like that that stuff is weird to me like you are trying to take control of me my body like what are you doing you have your body and I have my body and we can make this happen. But, I mean, to me, taking control of things is just weird to me. Because, I mean, we're still sovereign individuals, you know. But... Yeah, I don't know. And then some other things, for example, I remember someone was saying, like, giving orders and things of that nature. To me, if someone's giving orders and only one person is giving orders, to me, that's a little bit problematic because what is the incentive? From my perspective, I don't get it. Okay, if a man is giving me orders sexually, then it's almost like the sex was just for him. And then now I'm wondering why am I even there? Because I mean, like, uh, I don't have sex for other people's pleasure. I mean, who does that? Who has sex for someone else's pleasure? Like, I think everybody has sex for their own pleasure. Or else they won't have sex. You know, there's such people that are asexual. And they don't like sex. And they don't usually have sex because it's not in their own interest to have sex. Because there's no pleasure with having sex, you know? So, I mean, like, if it was for a man's pleasure, I probably wouldn't be there because, I mean, like, if I'm not having pleasure, then what's the point? And then some people will say, but the man's supposed to take charge so then you both are have pleasure or something like that. To me, it's like, that's like basically going to a restaurant talking to the waitress the waitress tells you what you're going to order at that restaurant and brings out what you're going to have and you're expecting them to make you enjoy the food that they bring out that makes no sense to me why wouldn't i just tell my order for what i want 
So then it can get through and it can actually be an enjoyable time, just like it's enjoyable at the restaurant, just like it's enjoyable during sex. You know what I mean? So that's one thing that some people brought up about orders and ordering women around with sex and things of that nature just was odd to me or like that a woman would like that. I don't get it. To me, I don't understand who would like to be ordered to be told what they're going to enjoy. Like, I think that person knows what they enjoy more than anyone else does, right? I don't know. That's just my perspective. Um, but I really don't understand the idea of women being submissive during sex. It's like, that's a major thing with men. With me, is that a lot of the time they assume that you're a submissive. And it's like, from my perspective, it's like, there's nothing about me in sex that's actually submissive at all. At all. And in any regard. Like, some people think, like, some women like to be put in their place. But to me, my place is my place. Um, I, I, I don't really understand what other place <laughs> am I supposed to be in, basically. But, yeah, I just was coming across some videos, and I was like, that is a weird view of sex. And I don't understand. If I was of that mindset and interested in that kind of thing or that's the kind of sex I engaged in I don't think I would want to have sex altogether because if it's not for any if I'm not going to be there saying what I want how I want it at the time I want it and honestly for me I'm not the type that's just like all me all my pleasure because I for example like I like to go down on a guy I actually like to go down on guys more than I actually like to have sex with them um, that's just how I am. Well, when I say that, I mean, like, inserted. But anyway, being inserted, basically. Um, pegging is a different story. Anyway, but to me, you know, I don't mind, you know, pleasuring a man. But I'm just saying, like, talking about everything that he wants if it's all of, if the only reason you guys are having sex, I don't understand. In my perspective, I don't understand why would I be having sex with someone who's the only interest and the only thing we're going to talk about is what you want. Well, then I don't understand why I'm here. I mean, it seems like more if somebody is having sex and it's all about one person's enjoyment, then I kind of feel like that person should be having sex with themselves, right? Because... Or, unless that person that they're having sex with is an asexual who's just doing it because it's a performative thing they're doing. But other than that, like, if that person actually likes sex, but they like sex for different reasons, you know, or they like sex this way, and they're not able to actually give out orders, I don't understand how can anyone read anyone's mind to pleasure them properly. And even if they did... Wouldn't it have been better if you told them so then it could have been more direct and maybe done even better? I don't know. To me, that's just how I see it. I just, I don't get why someone wouldn't give out orders on both ends. You know, personally, that's what I would think to do. I mean, with sex, you should probably communicate both ways, not just a one-way thing, but... Yeah, that's all I have to say. It's kind of like a reaction to, like, two videos I saw. And it was just weird. Some of the things people were saying about women and submissive women and sex and expectations of women. And I kind of related to it because I've seen some men who seem to have that perspective. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'm done. Bye.